it's Debbie. Yeah, I'm in the same clothes. I'm, I moved my part to the other side just to make it be a little different, but you're at your home, you're happy place. And um, anyway, I'm tired. And I'm gonna try really hard to do our master bedroom for fall. It's really, it, it is fall. There's gonna be fall decor in here for sure, but it is a complete makeover um, color-wise and lamps and art and everything. Back in a haul, I showed you this and I said, it'll come back later. And it was the color. It's a very deep, deep green. I mean, this is almost, I don't know, as I look at it on camera, it has a little blue to it. And so, but anyway, I have just been dreaming of having this beautiful green bedroom, not the walls, I'm not changing that. Um, and if, if you saw my unboxing video, you know that I bought the Ballard's bedspread. I don't know the name of it, but it's just like the blue one I have only in green. So that is actually my inspiration, that bedspread and the color of it, but the color is basic. So it's not a piece of art. It's very hard. It was very hard to work that way. Sometimes it's, it's kind of interesting to look and see what your inspiration is and how easy it is to work off that inspiration. Because if you start to learn, it's easier to work off of a piece of art than it is to work off of a blanket or i mean some people will decorate around a rug so whatever it is but anyway i also was flipping from probably a lot of silver accents in here to gold um the hardware on my um which is very little furniture is is just to me it just kind of blends away since it's not gold and it's not silver i feel like i can do whatever i want anyway and i would have but all right, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna make the bed and I have the cover on here, but it's not, it's not straightened up. So I'm gonna do that and make the bed. And as soon as I get the bed made, oh, first, before we do the bed, I wanna show you those lamps I put together. All right, here they are. They actually are, the lamps that I had there were probably five inches shorter and so I just wanted it higher because when you're in bed, if you need that lamp, it needs to be high enough to illuminate whatever you're doing. Um, and I was wrong when I plugged it in and said it didn't work. I forgot because there's no handle on it. It's a touch base and it's back here. You kind of, you can't just touch it anywhere. So let me touch it and make it work. Oops, it's coming on and it's got... Am I on the top? There we go. So it's got three levels. So there it is lit up. And then there's that USB. Um, one complaint I would have is that that USB cord's in the front. And I think that it would have been more aesthetically pleasing to have been on the side or the rear of the lamp. But, and I don't even know that I'll ever even use that. So, but I think it looks really good for something that came in such a little box. Okay, I'm going to make the bed. This is a duvet cover, not a quilt or a comforter. So, and I don't even know what I have in it. I think I have a bedspread in it, like a comforter or something. Oh, no, nope. I must have taken out a, a duvet. There's a duvet in it. I just love this print and I love this color. I'm looking for the bird. Oh, there they are. There's birds. Okay. These are pillow covers I got on Amazon. Um, I'll link them below. I had originally got them for 
to go with the chinoiserie pillows I ordered. And then I ended up using the pumpkin pillows in the family room. And I held on to them because I know that I'm doing this color for, for Christmas anyway. Hmm, is this what's next? I don't even know. I think so. I got this pillow at Hobby Lobby this year. Um, it was not where all the pillows are. It was in those little areas where they have like the pictures are hanging there and then they'll have a, a girl area, a boy area. I don't know. Anyway, it was there. So beautiful. Look at this. It's gorgeous. So we're going, let me get you closer now. It's coming together. We're going uh, green and golden here. Now I'm going to add that quilt to the bottom. I haven't done it yet, so I hope I like it. Ugh, these are heavy quilts. Um, okay, let's see, where's the end? There we go. I wanna show you something. I think this is like my red one that I have uh, for Christmas from Pottery Barn, very similar. It's got like a ribbon on it that's the edging. It's so beautiful and it's got just to tell, it's very hard to see on camera because it's so slight, but there's a fray. It's not hemmed, it's a fray. That's beautiful. But boy, if somebody wanted a weighted blanket, which we have one and I was using it, <laughs> this is like having a weighted blanket. I'm not telling, I'm not kidding, it's so heavy. So heavy. Oh gosh, I'm not thrilled with this color. Not at least with my pillows up there. I'm hoping by the time I fold it up, it'll be small enough that it won't make a difference. Well, wow. I think, uh, honestly, this is my opinion. Oh boy, I do not want to return that. But I, while I love the quality of that blanket and I love it, I'd rather have something in that frame of color. It looks far nicer with this than this does. So after all of that, If I took those green pillows off, it would look better, but honestly, it's so dull. It's so dull. I'm actually going to call them and talk to them about it because I don't want to. They have some other quilts I could try, but if they're all going to be, you say they're the same color as this and they're not, then it won't be great. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I waited to make this video till I got this blanket and it's such a disappointment. 
But you know what? If I were working in somebody else's home, I know they wouldn't be happy with this. They would think I was I had failed them. Um, and that's the bad part about buying things online. You can't really, you can't see it, but I would have trusted the fact that they were using the same color at the same store, that they were all from the same dye lot, and it's just not. Okay, let me go on. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you. I don't know if I can go back here. So I just stopped everything, went to Ballard's Design to return it. This is very nice. They include a shipping label inside your order. So that's great. Um, and you can tell here how much darker some of these are. Um, this is what I ordered. Look at, look at how dark that is. Now on screen, it looks like it could go, but it really doesn't. Oh, it really doesn't. This is far much closer to these lighter colors. So here's what I'm doing. This is very safe, but it's something I've loved forever as well, maybe even longer. I'm gonna do the Emma scalloped bedding. It's actually less money. Um, and there it is. And then it's just trimmed out in that sage. And then it is a duvet, not a quilt. There you go. You can see that that's the right color. And then you can also see that they offer personalization. So because it was so much less, I'm going to tell you it's on sale right now. So the King Duvet in that was $209, nine, not 90, $209. That other quilt was over $300 on sale. So, and this is on sale, but still, it's a great buy. So I also ordered two Euro shams out of this, and I'm having um, our last name initial monogrammed on it, and I'm still within $5 of the other one. So I'm very excited. I just wanted you to know where we're headed with this. So we're just going to leave the bed like that for now, and I'm going to add two pictures. As I told you guys, I could have done a haul because <laughs> these were new. Um, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. Um, it says they were $35.99, but of course they were, actually I think they were 50% off that day. Um, so they just have two prints because I, if they'd have had four, I would have actually uh, done two on each, or yeah, two on each side, but they only have the two and I don't want to change um, my nails because I know that I'm going to put those same pictures I had up there for summer back. There's a center one, you know, bracket here. So I'm going to take the one that's closest in and hang that there. So there, I still have a nail over here and looks like a mark in the wall. So we've got a touch up paint there. But we'll probably leave the nail because I don't think anybody will see it. All right, what I did have up there was Happily Ever After. I took it down. I miss it um, because I got used to having that you know, kind of triangle thing going on. Um, but it, I think it was just too much for these pictures. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. We'll see. I mean, because Christmas comes and I may change those birds out. I may not. I mean, there's birds around here all the time. So I'm going to do the side tables next. And I'll get you close up after, you know, it's all come together. On my side tables, I'm going to do the exact identical thing and I found this is a, a dull green kind of the color of that bedding but that doesn't matter here and what I assume is a sunflower but of a different variety than I have downstairs so I don't know if it's a different kind of flower you tell me but I just loved it I it's very casual it looks great for a bedroom side thing and um there were two of them um they actually had them in other colors too, and this was Home Goods, you guys. And this was mm, 
a week or two ago. So $25 each, $24.99. Okay, and I'm going to pop that right here. Also going to show you this. When I bought um, those other devotionals I showed you for the guys, I also picked up one for my husband. It's called Man of Strength, 100 Devotions for a Life of Power. And I haven't read this one yet. But um, be the man who recognizes deception. Looks like it's a, a scripture and then a, a decently, like, three paragraphs or whatever, devotion. And then this one has uh, questions afterwards instead of what they often have, which is a prayer. But I'll link these below as well. So on my chest here, which I'll turn the camera in a minute, um, I uh, robbed this, I believe this one from um, the bedroom that was up here that I've shown you already. Um, and I replaced it with something else. I don't remember why, but when I do my fall home door, you'll see. So I love these. Um, I can't link the exact same one, but I link one that's very similar because um, these were from Pier 1. And so I've got just a few um, fall items in the bottom. And then the candle, I believe this candle is from Hobby Lobby, but I'll look. It's a real candle. Yeah, Hobby Lobby. Um, it's called the Bella Can Candela. Bella Candela. And uh, these are those honeydew. I just think that the color is perfect for in here. So there's the tall one, and then I'm gonna put this one next to it. I'm gonna turn that around. Right here, I think I'm gonna put a picture, but it's a word picture, so it'll be a little different than what's going on there. So I've never hung a picture here before. I always use a plate holder, and um, this one is a Hobby Lobby, um, $5 when they're on sale, or about that. And I mean, I think it's a nice, substantial one. And then this, um, I got the same day. Those were on sale. Let's see. So this was originally $27.99, and I don't know if it was 40 or 50% off. It says, Then Sings My Soul. And I just love that. Love the song. I love the feeling. You want to make these? <laughs> Here we go. Is it in the right spot? No. You got to get these in the equal spot so it doesn't tip over. Yeah, that feels better. Okay. I have something else. I don't want to overcrowd it, but I'm going to try something. I bought some bookends. Absolutely love them. And... I want to show you. They come in gold and silver and white and maybe something else. Are they not the most? They're not heavy either. I don't know what they're made of. They they might be able to break. I don't know. Got them on Amazon. One bird's down and one bird's up. So, um, you know, they would go like that. I guess you could do them any way you want, really. Um, but... This is too crowded for what I had thought. So I think I might just grab some of my books. Let's just do it. I'll just grab a Bible and my Kindle because I don't want it too high. And just do that. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to take the other bird and put it 
probably underneath the nightstand on my husband's side to just have it in the room unless I find another spot for it. Okay, I have two lovely baskets, decent size. I mean, it's just a space. This is my chest, and then there's this barely there corner, and there's a switch plate in front of it. I could probably hang pictures above it, but I've got all these other pictures going on. So I am going to put in, and this, may, this is probably old. Let's see what year it says on it. Uh, 2021, it's not that old. Autumn Fall Ideas by uh, Entertain and Celebrate Autumn. And um, so I'm just gonna set that there. And on top of it, a pumpkin. I'm gonna use the Inspiration Pumpkin that I had so that you can still see the colors around it. Cause I also have this bigger pumpkin and he's gonna go down on the side of it. He does have a words, bless his home, but I really just don't wanna see him, see the words. Not that I don't love those words, I just don't wanna see it. All right, and so that's that little vignette is done. <laughs> I'm gonna do this area real quick. Uh, those soft blankets that I've had in the sitting room since last, I think, winter, they didn't go far. They just moved into here. I mean, these are the best, and I'm sure they were like, they were either $19.99 or $24.99 at TJ Maxx last year, and I'm sure they have them every year. The inside is, a su is super soft as well. Oh, th they are the best. Okay, two more pillows, uh, also from Hobby Lobby. Uh, and not in their pillow section, but somewhere around where the gold stuff was. And I'm just loving. So if you remember, I have a gold pillow over there. And so I'm going to put these here. I love a little lumbar pillow in these chairs. This is not new. This is probably from last year. Uh, is there a right side and a wrong side? I don't know. Yeah, there is, well, or is, the, is it considered reversible? So I didn't know that. It is, I guess. One side, you've got a white pumpkin here and there. I've been using it on this side, which the stitching is still just as beautiful, where everything is the same color, so. It's a very, very short thing. I don't even know what it's, I, I hate to call it a runner because it's not really long enough. This also is not new. Um, it's like broken or mosaic glass, cracked glass on it in a green with a green roof, a gray green. And I had it for years. This is not new. Um, it's got a bumblebee design on it, and it's just a beautiful floral I've had for years. But it has the gold and it has the green, and so I think that's going to be great. Something's missing. Something's missing. <laughs> okay, and then uh, that last trip to Home Goods, I also found these. This is kind of weighted, it's spongy. Uh, 
and the color is gorgeous. Gold and gold, velvet, and green and kind of green velvet. And the last little touch, I think that, I don't know where I got him, if he was new or old. I think he's new. I think he's from Hobby Lobby. And I just want him out in front of these guys. So there's my little vignette there. I know it's kind of dark because the light is behind the window there, but okay. Full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening, and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that to block the view uh, where we just were over there because our bed faces that window and that's where the gorgeous view is um, because I could hang some wreaths there but I just don't want to so there's not much of a view out here not to mention the fact that we don't really see it so I am putting some fall wreaths and they are mostly green but there is just the tiniest bit of orange in those persimmons uh, another beautiful, and I I think I might have bought these this year, but I don't know. Oh, well, the tag's on them, so yeah, $49, so they were pricey uh, for me. I think that's a lot. I mean, I got, you get kind of used to $29.99, <laughs> and this was from Home Goods, so there was no discount. Um, but I'm going to hang them on the window, and I'll cut the price tags off later. I like to add something to the top of this um, that's easy to take off in case we're wanting to use it. Um, you can use a lot of it from just the front. And I found this at Hobby Lobby, give it to God and go to sleep. And I had it on my husband's um, nightstand, but it was really a little crowded over there. And then I just have a little, it's the palest of green pumpkins. Let me push this back just a little bit and set that there. He's, I don't know what he's made of. He's kind of sturdy though. All right, so that little corner's done. And now I'm gonna look at the man. Okay, I'm not gonna complain every time, but maybe I am. These are the like <laughs> shallowest <laughs> mantles I've ever seen. And then you put a TV on it and, well, we also have a DVD player behind it, but that the TV was sticking out that far anyway. So there's no room for anything on the top. Uh, I believe when I did a mantle decor last year, I actually did it across the, the wood here on the front. But um, with the wreaths over there, now I do more at Christmas than fall anyway. This is enough for me, but remember I bought those lamps. 
And so I'm gonna try them up there and here's what. They did come with a charging U USB. It just doesn't have the electric part, so that's okay. But as I was picking them up to bring them in here, look, I accidentally touched one. Okay, you're not coming on now. What's the deal? Oh, you gotta touch that center dot, okay. So yeah, it was pre-charged. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna put that up there. Well, it's very high. I'm on my tiptoes. <laughs> oh, okay, it does just fit in that spot. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So cute. Let me turn the other one on. Yeah. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't see my palm trees, <laughs> I'm going to the beach. Is that hard to see? There you go. I've never done that in my life. I just had it done. It was so fun. Okay, let me back up. Let's get the view. Oh, wow. Wow. Let me turn the overhead light off, which, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's in reflecting in the TV. There we go. Isn't it gorgeous? That is it, that is enough. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you around the room. You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say Thanks for joining me today, you guys. Um, please don't forget to give me a like, share me, uh, comment if you can. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. And I will see you next time at your home, your happy place. Bye.